During the past 20 years, I have taken care of thousands of patients who have concussion symptoms. Many patients who develop a traumatic brain injury uh, get over their concussion symptoms within weeks. Usually by three months, about 80 to 85% of patients have totally recovered from their symptoms and no longer have dizziness, headaches, irritability, or difficulty thinking. However, a subset of patients continue to have symptoms for months or even years, and this is a patient population that I specialize in. This condition of persistent concussion symptoms is called post-concussion syndrome. About 20% of patients uh, may experience post-concussion syndrome even after one traumatic brain injury, although it's often, it often happens when patients have had three, four, or more concussions within a short period of time as it may happen with football players or hockey players. Now, why do some patients have persistent concussion, concussion symptoms for years uh, while most people recover? I think there are several reasons. Number one um, reason may be the fact that patients with concussion have a variety of symptoms. They have dizziness, they have headaches, they have irritability, they have difficulty with concentration, they cannot sleep or they sleep too much. And because they have these different symptoms, they see different specialists. And each of the specialists focuses on treating that particular problem they have while they're suffering from the other issues related to their concussion. As a result, they may have some improvement, but they continue to suffer and not be able to function well at home and at work. In my approach to treating patients, I sit down with them and I go over all their symptoms. I make an inventory of all their symptoms and sometimes it could be five symptoms, sometimes it could be 20. But we need to know them all and treat them all in order for them to get better once and for all. There are four general categories of symptoms in patients with post-concussion syndrome. Those include migraine and headaches or neck pain. Another issue, another common symptom is dizziness. Third is sleep or anxiety issues. And fourth is memory, attention, or what I call cognitive stamina. Each of these symptoms can be treated rather easily with simple interventions that I have provided for my patients. For migraine, I focus on prevention. Patients need to make sure they sleep well. They need to reduce the triggers for their migraine. So if they get headaches after eating pizza, or if they stay up too, light, too late, or if they're in a busy environment, they need, they need to reduce those things in order to have fewer migraine symptoms. And yes, I do prescribe medications like Tonal or other migraine medications if they have persistent headaches. But most of the time, the migraine symptoms include non-headache symptoms, such, such as sensitivity to light, sensitivity to sound, or sensitivity to barometric pressure changes. I have a separate video about migraine that you can watch. Now, dizziness is a very common problem in patients with post-concussion syndrome. And in my opinion, there are two general, two common types of dizziness. One is dizziness because of migraine, and one is dizziness because of vestibular trauma. Some patients with migraine are sensitive to motion and experience vertigo symptoms because of their migraine, which was triggered by a concussion or became worse after a concussion. Those patients need to follow migraine prevention recommendations that I have for them. Other patients who have vestibular trauma, trauma to their inner ear, have symptoms like difficulty with their balance, getting dizzy when they move their head, being very dizzy uh, when they're in a car or in a boat. These patients need vestibular therapy. Uh, if they don't get vestibular therapy, they will not get better. And I usually find a good vestibular therapist in the area, and I refer my patients to that specific therapist. Third category of symptoms, anxiety, sleep issues, can also be treated successfully without medications. For uh, anxiety issues, I recommend meditation, reducing workload, reducing triggers in the environment that provokes their anxiety and irritability symptoms. They often need to educate their family members and coworkers that they've had concussion, that their brain cannot tolerate a lot of issues that it could tolerate before. I often tell my patients to have a conversation with their spouse, their children, their parents about these issues so they get more sympathy when they say, look, I can't handle this, leave me alone. The sleep is very important. 
and patients need to make that a priority. I sometimes recommend people taking Benadryl, which is an allergy medication that can cause sleepiness. Other times I help them to follow my sleep uh, recommendations, which I've summarized in a separate video. Finally, cognitive symptoms need to be recognized and treated. A lot of patients with post-concussion syndrome have low cognitive stamina. They get tired easily. In the past, they were able to read pages and pages of books easily. Now they get tired after reading one paragraph. They need to appreciate that this is a real problem that will get better slowly. Uh, they need to receive brain training that will help them increase their stamina, increase their ability to read, understand, and do cognitive work gradually. Now, if, if, if a person has all of the symptoms, uh, they need a brain coach. They need someone who can supervise them and coach them through all these steps because they themselves cannot handle all of these things. And this is what we provided for our patients in our program called Concussion Recovery Program. Now, separate from these, I encourage all my patients to exercise regularly, eat a Mediterranean diet, and meditate on a regular basis. With these interventions, I have seen remarkable results, and my message to patients who have post-concussion syndrome is that your symptoms are treatable and they can be fixed. You just need to be patient and find a neurologist who's familiar with these concepts or follow the step-by-step the -step, uh, recommendations that I made in this video. Okay? Good luck to you.